nominations on Thank all the nominations much. for Sneakerella. I mean, this film has really took off pretty huge. Um, you are the king. Yes. Of, of Thank you for recognizing. Of that. course. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is what does this movie mean to you when you went into it? Were you expecting all this love and support? Yes. When I went into it, and they told me one, it was a Disney movie. Told me it was a movie that was a musical. I've always wanted to be in a musical. Um, every year growing up, we watch uh, West Side Story. We watch Paul Game Best. At least I did. I watched Carmen. I I, I loved it. And, and, you know, I love my boy Spike Lee on um, would put in school days, he put this whole musical pieces three times in the movie. And that's the way black folks used to literally be able to make movies. So I was happy to be in that. I grew up uh, thinking I was going to be a rapper. Decided, you know, they let me live out my idea of doing a battle rap. Most perfect thing for me. Very cool. Uh, now, obviously, uh, being from the NBA, sneakers are a big deal. Um, so that was a really fun tie-in there. Uh, did you do anything special for like the premiere or anything? Um, no, I went. We went to New York. I, I did all the rounds. I got to be on ESPN three different shows. Uh, I missed being on Sway in the morning. That's my boy. But I got the Breakfast Club. Uh, I did Boston Sports. So all of that, getting involved, I, I got to do. And I, I told him. I said, Hey. Don't forget, I used to do this differently. I can help the movie. And they, they believed in me and let me do it. Very cool. And obviously, this is the first ever Children's and Family Emmys. Yep. Um, so this has opened up to so many more opportunities for more shows, more movies. to. to get and don't think I wasn't negotiating over there with the CEOs to be on the sports Emmys. I said, you need me to host it. Uh-huh. I would, I would love to see that. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much, John. Congratulations right. for you guys. Stay alive. So congratulations on all the success of Sneakerella. Um, obviously, with the advent of the Children's and Family Emmys, um, this really opened up a whole variety of extra categories that the film could be recognized in. Um, how meaningful is this for you guys to, to be here amongst all these uh, amazing contributors? Can you start that up? Well, yeah. I mean, it's huge. Uh, we're a part of this new legacy now. Right. We'll be the first. And that is really, really mind-blowing. It's like... Absolutely. Magical. I know I couldn't believe it when I saw it was like the first, you know, cafe awards. I was like, oh, we're a part of history at this moment. Absolutely. That's incredible. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm ecstatic just for that, you know, but I mean, I'm also ecstatic when we hear our names in that Sneakerella situation. If that I, ends know, up happening, so. I know. I mean, it's incredible to be here right? and be even recognized for something that happened during such a turbulent time in the world. Yeah. You know, to, to be able to create some create something that could be an escape to these young people is like it's something that you all, you absolutely wish for. So. Absolutely. Well, and not only that, but I mean, kids are emulating the choreography that you developed for this. Um, you know, and producing their own content, trying to be like the characters from Sneakerella. Um, what's been your favorite part of of the post release experience of of seeing how kids have embraced and loved this film? I mean, really, the exciting part is just seeing it. You know, in general, that you know. I was told the other day, I was like, oh, my niece like loves that movie and she's dancing all the time to it. And I just remember thinking like, wow, that's incredible. I mean, that's what we that's what we come here to do. So when I see those posts, I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Like, we just want to inspire, you know, the kids, children, adults to get up and move like we do. And as long as that's happening, then we're feeling our task. We right? just want to make a move, you right. know, and have them feel fly about rocking their kicks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <snap. laughs> Very cool. Thank you both so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations on all the success for Sneakerella. Thank you. Um, obviously, oh, Children's and Family oh, Emmys didn't exist before, so you would have otherwise been lumped into like maybe one category in right. daytime. Um, what does this mean to you to have so much recognition for this film, 11 awards at this? I mean, I was so floored that we got 11 nominations and it's almost like we manifested the whole awards because like we were so excited and everyone worked so hard on it. So it was really lovely to see everyone, you know, celebrate and all of our crew has been nominated and it's just been really exciting. And the film's been out for a little while. Have there been any like really rewarding moments post-release? of like seeing how how the world has interacted with it or celebrated it. Yeah, it's really fun. Like a lot of like talent shows, like end of year school talent shows. There have been a couple of camps that do like the choreography for the movie. And, you know, it's just nice to see that sort of viral excitement. So, no, I know you're here. You you look like a Cinderella at the moment. Um, are you wearing sneakers under there? Uh, no, I'm not wearing sneakers under this right now. I did do it um, for our premiere, but today I decided I would try to be Cinderella. Cool. Well, very nice. Uh, it was great meeting you, and congratulations. I'm rooting for you guys. Thank you so much.